Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing the Breguet Marine GMT. This is the reference 5857ST, 42 millimeters in stainless steel. It's a fairly easy watch to wear on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist and I don't always say that about watches with flaring straight striking lugs the way this watch is equipped. That said, this one wears well. Although it's 53 millimeters from lug to lug, there's a little bit of an effective camber or curve to these lugs that makes them wear easily on a small wrist. So I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference. It's not thick at 12.4 millimeters thick. It's scarcely thicker than a Rolex Daytona. And you can see that double stepped domed bezel. It will slide easily under a dress cuff, even if you're not using this 100 meter water resistant watch as intended. 22 millimeters between the lugs, so although it is rather vintage evocative in its details, its proportioning is very much of our century, not Breguet's. Now let's remove it from the wrist and take a look at some of the hardware because I was impressed. First, the strap is what you would expect, but it is fixed to the case using screws rather than spring bars, so there's an extra measure of security there for your expensive sports watch. The strap itself is alligator leather, large rectangular scale, and black on the top with a semi-gloss finish and a lovely contrasting e stitch. You can see that it is a thick piece of leather. They are not shorting you the hide with sheer sided construction that shows you the layers of leather. And then you have all stainless steel hardware with a lovely wave motif built to allow the individual strap minders to interlock. That's handsome, and the use of metal hardware, where traditionally pieces of leather would be employed, speaks to an upscale sensibility and money spent. Appreciate that there is a full deployment clasp, and it's anything but a default design, as that wave design is recapitulated in the profile of the buckle component, including the pin buckle component itself, with a contrasting satin and polished finish. Now jumping back to the case, you can see that it is a cold rolled case flank, so effectively a sort of forging technique that allows Brigade to create this coined flank that is polished on its outer surfaces, but you can see the recesses between are a satin finish for contrast. The lugs themselves, as I mentioned, jut out from the case in a striking and abrupt fashion, but they do arc down. That's part of the ergonomic equation. There's an effective curvature to this watch around the wrist. The bezel is all of high polished with a lovely conical section that gives way to a domed half that abuts the dial directly. So you have a conical and domed profile on the same bezel. Now the dial itself is silver galvanized, but it is made of solid gold. This is true rose lathe guilloche. When you see guilloche mount or hand guilloche on the dial. What they mean is that a guilloche, a special rose lathe operator who programs the machine with cams and first freehand draws the pattern he wants to create. He creates the dial pattern you see here with this undulating outer pattern, the same pattern splayed out in a spiral billowing form at center. You can see how there is a day and night pattern cut into the 24 hour register and then there is satin finish where appropriate. You'll also note that there are beautiful blued hands on this dial and that they are loomed for both the primary and secondary time zones. So you have a solid gold dial that is cut on a rose lathe, which is a 19th century engine. You have fire blued hands, and then you do have those two separate displays. You have the one for the second time zone and then your primary time at center. Time at center drives the date. You'll note that there is a 24 hour indicator, so you know, for example, whether you're looking at the sub register at 9 a.m. or 9 p.m., you can see that we're in the first 12 hours of the day on the sub-register, so you know you're looking at 9 a.m. Of course, you can pull the crown to its intermediate position, and now I can move the local hand independently. I can even jump the date forward or backwards as I transit, perhaps across the international date line. The screw-down crown is flanked by shoulder guards in, what else, a wave motif. The screw-down crown nicely protected and endowing the watch with 100 meter water resistance. Turn it all over, and you can see a Brigade caliber 517 on the reverse side. 30 joules adjusted in a chronometer busting six positions. In general, five positions is the number of adjustments for a COSC chronometer. Six positions is truly exceptional because it leaves the watchmaker no place to hide error. The twin mainspring barrels maintain amplitude after 24 or 48 hours and will actually allow the watch to run out to three days or 72 hours. You can see a white gold winding mass. It too has been cut in a rose lathe pattern with what appears to be a hybrid of a nautilus shell pattern and a wave. The movement 
beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It features a free-sprung balance architecture that allows it to take and hold that six-position adjustment even in the face of concussion and disruption on the wrist. And it features an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring to help resist the pull and the push of those high-powered home and office electronics. Now, not only do you have that guilloche rotor, but you have mirrored engloge in every jewel sink and screw sink on these bridges, as well as a mirrored rounded chamfer or engloge on the edge of every bridge. Immaculately abrasive wheel laid Cote de Genève across all the bridges, and there is an engine turned perlage on the base plate. It is a handsomely hand-finished movement that is as beautiful as it is today technically sophisticated. Based, of course, on the Frédéric Piguet caliber 1185. You can see and you can purchase this Breguet Marine GMT on the watch box. Breguet Marine, fully loomed with both time zones by night.